Well, we want to welcome you to our call today with Ed Newton, CFP and president of Newton Financial Network. The title for today's call is the new Black Diamond Investment Reporting Platform. Ed's going to be talking about how to log in and use that and some of the features of it. And if you're listening on the phone, we should have time at the end of the call. We'll open up the line so Ed can answer your questions if you have them. Or if you're listening via the webcast on the Internet, there is a box towards the bottom of the page titled Submit Your Question for the Event Here. Just type in your question and click the submit button, and we'll check those messages as we go through and at the end of the call and try and answer those too. If you're not already a client of Ed's, he's originally from Huntington, West Virginia, has a degree in accounting from Virginia Tech and a master's degree from Liberty University. Ed landed at Arthur Anderson and Company in their tax department and began his firm in 1977. He is a CPA and a certified financial planner and is uniquely positioned to help his clients achieve and sustain a worry-free retirement. And if you do know him, you know Ed is married to his wife, Millie. They have three grown children, six grandchildren so far, and he has lived in Charlotte for over 28 years. Good morning, Ed, and welcome to the call. Good morning, Jeff. Thank you. And uh, we've had a couple of technical difficulties this morning, but hopefully this will all work out. And uh, I appreciate everyone being on the call Uh, I wanted to introduce you to our investor experience in our ongoing effort to enhance the quality of service that we give to our clients. I'm really pleased to introduce this new tool. I think it's, uh, I'm very excited about it. Uh, We've devoted a significant amount of time and resources to provide you with this ability to review your financial investments at any time from any place that you can access the internet. It's an easy-to-use online portal to connect you with the financial wealth picture anytime and anywhere. Whether you want a high-level overview or an in-depth look at your investments, the new investor experience makes it easier than ever. So I want to talk first about the key features um, that we have. So that would be... um, uh, And I apologize for those of you that may be on the call uh, on telephone and not on your computers because, uh, quite honestly, I'm going to be showing some things that uh, will be uh, helpful, and it may be difficult for you to understand and follow if you're just on the phone. However, what we're going to do is separately we're going to record this call, and I'll probably even uh, make it a little different, and then we're going to make that available to all the clients. So, uh, again, with the, uh, uh, the key features that we have of this investor experience is you've got 24-7, 365 access. It's compatible with any device. You can do it on your computer, your iPad, your Galaxy, anywhere that you can access the Internet, you'll be able to view this. Uh, alerts and notifications, if we need to uh, give you any alert or any notification, that can come through there as well. It's paperless and eco-friendly, and therefore, uh, you know, we're trying to save paper. We're doing as much paperless as we can. Uh, There's also a spot here you'll see for document storage and sharing. So what that will enable us to do is to, if we, for example, let's say we're going to meet over the phone and we want to have some charts and some information on your particular investments, we can put those right to the portal, and then you'll be able to click on those and look at those as well. Uh, I want to actually walk you through logging into the Network Investor Experience. Uh, So you just open any browser, and as you can see here, this is the uh, website that you will log into. And what I want to be sure and let you know that this is the uh, address that you'll put into the window. And then um, just be sure that you do not put that www. I know we all get used to putting www into the address window, but if you do that, you'll get an error. And you'll notice up there in that address bar, it does say HTTPS. Anytime you see an S, that means that you're on a secure site. Uh, And that's the reason you don't use the www. So you've got to be sure that you've got that uh, HTTPS in there, and then that will bring you to the login window. 
you enter your username and password that you previously established. Now, I know at this point you've not established one, and uh, Sarah Beth, if you'll contact her in our office, then we will set you up with the username, and then you can go online and, and put your password in as you like. <clears throat> So as we actually move to what it looks like once you log in, you can see here I'm using the Barker family, if you will, and uh, which is, of course, just a dummy uh, family, made-up family. Uh, the X there up in the where it says click to collapse menu, if you want to get a wider screen shot of that, you can just click that collapse menu and it'll get away from that that menu itself, if you'll notice, just relates to the same little cards as we call them, uh, the allocation, performance, activity summary, etc. So you can close that. Uh, on this allocation card, you can actually view your entire household or you can switch to an individual account. Uh, and we've got it set up, for example, husband and wife. Uh, you could look at the entire family as a group, or if you as the wife want to look just at your accounts, you can select from that drop down right beside Barker family there and just select wife's accounts or however we might have a title with your name. And if you want to look at just an individual account that you have, let's say you've got uh, a trust account, an IRA, and a joint account with uh, husband and wife. If you want to look just at your IRA, again, you can click on just IRA there, and then all of the information displayed will be just for your IRA. Also, if you look over where it says edit the active date range, you can click on that drop-down box, and you'll come to, with uh, quite a few, give you quite a few uh, choices there last 12 months, year to date, last three years, last five years, etc. Now this information is only available back to November of 2011 when we began using Trade PMR as our custodian. So that's as far back as we can go. So if you're looking at since inception, that will go back to November of 2011. If you became a client after November 2011, then that will have all of your data on it uh, from the day one. Uh, the little bell up there with the number one notifications, if we have any notifications or alerts that we want to send you, you'll see that up there. Uh, and then you just click on the bell and it will take you to that portion. Also, if you want to update your account settings, and that would allow you to do a few things, I doubt there's much you're going to want to do there, but those account settings are there if you do need them. Finally, on this slide, uh, click here to expand the selected card. You'll see that right arrow, and if we look at the allocation card, as we call it, uh, you'll see you know it's kind of small or whatever, but it, at any rate, if you click on that right arrow, then we'll go to the next slide, Jeff, if you don't mind. And on that allocation, you'll see in the upper left portion there where it shows consolidated view, that's the individual card. And then down in the lower right, if you were to expand it, that's what you'll see. So it gives you just a bigger picture, if you will. Notice that um, the toggle to view a pie chart or a bar chart so if you click on those bars up there, it will change it to a bar chart versus a pie chart. Uh, so just however you might want to look at that. Also, you can select the desired allocation level. Now, what that means is at this point, we're showing just classes. In other words, how much do I have in cash? How much are in equities? How much are in fixed income? you can click that drop down and you can go all the way down to the individual asset um, and it will show you the assets in each individual asset how much you have in them and how much it makes up of your portfolio uh, the data is dynamically as it says that it reflects the level selected so in other words if you were to select 
the equities button there, then it would show you for Danny detailed portfolio exactly what makes up those equities. If you were to change it to Susie's portfolio, it would automatically update and you would see that information for Susie. The next card is performance, and this is where you can view the performance across your portfolio. And again, uh, we've expanded the card and you can see what's available here. Under the performance, you've got the typical chart that we look at that you think of looking at to see how the portfolio is performing. And notice that on the right side, the scale is actually in a percentage increase or decrease the return. Uh, you can hover over any point on the chart and it will show you the um, specific date. So in other words, as it's showing there, it's looking at 1115, 213, and looking at the return from October 1st until that 1115. Uh, down in the lower screen, select the available date ranges for display. So if you select those dates down there, you can uh, again, see various dates that will show up as far as the, um, the, the amount of detail. Uh, the same thing goes through true with the expand and collapse the group sections. You can look at Danny and Diana's joint account. You can click on that button and it will drop down and show you more information, you know, the classes, whether it be equities, etc., and you can continue to drill down. So again, you can drill down just as far as you'd like to go down to the individual assets. Under activity summary, that you'll view the activity and changes in your portfolio or the account balance. So again, uh, we look at the expanded card and you've got the beginning value showing there what your inflows and outflows have been for the period of time that you're looking, what your gain of loss has been, and then your ending value. Uh, when you expand it, again, you just see the same information but a lot more. So you still got the chart there. The beginning value, you'll notice that now you have the net additions and it actually tells you where those net additions are. In this case, you made a $30,000 contributions. You withdrew, for whatever reason, $356,000 and other activity of $151,000. Then it shows the gain and loss, how much was due to market change, and how much was due to income, such as dividends and interest, that might have been uh, paid to the account through the individual funds. Uh, also, you can then uh, see the income performance and breakouts, like I say there. Uh, you can view either the account summary or the detail of the transactions. So, um, again, down below there, you can look at all of the individual accounts, etc. The next card is the gain or loss where you can view your unrealized and realized gains and loss information for the investments. And again, from the consolidated view, it gives you a nice quick summary of what your taxable, tax deferred, and then the total of all your accounts, what your cost basis is, what your unrealized gains or losses are, uh, how much is long-term, short-term, and then the same thing with realized gain or loss. Now, this will not replace the 1099 by any means that you get at the end of the year that shows your realized gains or losses. <clears throat> Excuse me. But you can toggle to view either the asset summary or the top gainers or losers by clicking that button up at the top right. Down in the expanded view, uh, you can sort the data by selecting column titles. So if you were to select, if you wanted for some reason just to see um, by symbol, you could click on that symbol and it would put everything in alphabetical order according to the symbol. And the same is true if you wanted to look, for example, at the ending values, if you wanted to rank 
your view by highest to lowest or lowest to highest the amount uh, that you have in those accounts, you could do that as well. You can also view it by asset or by account. So again, you can drill down and look at just as much detail as you would like to look at. Our next card has to do with transactions. And so you'll be able to view and filter the most recent transactions in your portfolio. Uh, you can look at just the buys, the contributions, incomes. This is something for someone that really likes to get into the details and, and as they're looking at the account and look at the individual transactions. Um, you can also export it to an Excel spreadsheet if you'd like and that will allow you to then do with the data whatever you would like. I'm not sure what you might want to do with that, but it's there and available for you. Then you can also select an individual transaction to view the additional details. So we've selected the transaction here and it shows the date, it shows the name of the account, uh, and that it was a cash deposit $3,097.70 was placed into their uh, custodial account there. The next slide shows the projected income, and it's a review, a snapshot of expected dividend and interest payments. So if you look at that, and this one I would say comes into play mostly for someone that is receiving monthly income, uh, they've reached retirement age, or for whatever reason they're drawing money out monthly, uh, and they can then uh, look at that projected income. In this case, the dividends are showing is in the blue, the interest is showing in green, and it will show you again what your dividends and interest projected are going to be for the year based on the assets that we're holding. Uh, again, you can collapse the chart if you'd like to where you can get a better view or a bigger view of the table data as well. You can also select to view either the next 12 months, what's my income going to look for the next 12 months, or just for the remainder of the current year. So, of course, right now the remainder of the current year wouldn't do you much good, but uh, maybe in March or April you might just want to look at what kind of income you're projecting, expecting to have into the account. And then we look at the last couple of cards that we have, the documents. That's where uh, you can store personal documents there and access files shared uh, with us, uh, for example, if you wanted to upload to us a uh, particular document or maybe you might want to keep a copy of your will or something like that up there, then you can put those up there. Uh, we will not be using this for any tax-related information, though. For those of you that are both tax and investment clients, uh, we will not be using that. We'll continue to use the separate CPA client portal for that. Um, and then again, down below, when you look at the expanded view, you can see that um, the documents that are would be available for you there in the different folders. Uh, do note that uh, those documents can only be seen by you and by those of us at Newton Financial Network. So again, everything is very secure and can be um, transmitted there without any concern for the security issues. Uh, you can also create different folders to organize your documents. Uh, this is showing it, for example, 2013, et cetera, so you can do that as well. And the folders, uh, the documents, and the reports can all be seen in one spot. Again, for example, if we were to upload a quarterly report for you, then that would be available under that tab for the reports. And then again, to look at those reports, uh, the next card, you can see that we've got it for the consolidated view. They're organized by portfolio and year. So you would be able to go look at any of those and uh, review those however you would like to. 
Then if you select the report to display, it just uh, shows in the PDF format there, and you can click on those and view those or download those. Uh, now, I know that was very quick, uh, and there's a lot there, but I didn't want to take up a lot of your time because I know most of you will log in and then you can quote unquote play with it to your heart's desire. You can't do any damage. You can't change anything. It's strictly a view only. So feel free to just click to your heart's content to go through there. Now, if you have trouble signing into the site, you might get this invalid username and password combination, for example. Or the if it's been locked, if you've forgotten your password too many times, entered it incorrectly, then it will lock you out. Um, and if that's the case, you just select that trouble logging in on the sign-in page for any help. Then we will send you an email with a link to access the site, and then you just follow the steps provided to resolve those login issues. As I mentioned, it's also available on your mobile. Here are the ways that you can, on your iPhone or your iPad or your Android device, how you can go in and look at, um, I'm sorry, set that up on your phone or your iPad or your Android device so that you can just click the one little icon and it will take you straight to your sign-in, to your login page. Uh, so that's the information for that. Again, that will be available, but most of you probably know how to add things to your home screen uh, from that standpoint. <clears throat> Excuse me. So again, to reemphasize the information security, we do take your privacy very seriously, and this platform we, has implemented really strong security measures and data protection policies. The investment data and documents are stored in high security data centers with multiple layers of protection. Uh, information on this site is read only, as I mentioned earlier, and it does follow the rev uh, relevant federal and state privacy protection regulations. So again, since it is read only, you don't have to be concerned about doing anything and uh, causing any issues. With that, again, I know it's been very quick, but uh, if there are any questions, I'll be happy to answer those. But if you do have any questions at the completion, just give Sarah Beth a call at the office, 704-552-8689, or email her at sarahbeth at newtoninvestments.com. With that, Jeff, I will, I'm out of breath. If you want to take it back and see if we've got any questions, We'll be happy to uh, answer those. Otherwise, uh, as I say, to get yourself initially set up with your username, uh, just contact Sarah Beth. Thanks, Ed. We do have uh, several people on the phone lines. The lines are open, so if you do have a question for Ed, just go ahead and speak up. And while we're seeing if we've got anybody on the phone, I'll check the webcast. Um Bill asks, can you send out that URL to all of us on this call so we don't have to type it in and remember it? <laughs> yeah, Bill, we'll we'll do that. In fact, uh, I don't, th and I know which Bill this is. I don't think you've been set up with your username yet. So what I'll do is I'll have Sarah Beth send you out the link, and that way you can just click the link, which will take you straight to where you need to go, and then you can just bookmark that uh, for future reference. And, Ed, correct me if I'm wrong, but on the newtonfinancialnetwork.com website, under the tab Client Access, um, there, there's a black diamond logo where they can click on that, and that takes them directly to that page, right? Right. Thank, yeah, th thanks for mentioning that, uh, Jeff. That's a good point. And that would also, uh, just like we do on our CPA website where we have some uh, connections, that would probably be the easiest way is to just go to newtonfinancialnetwork.com and then, as Jeff said, click on that um, client access and then on Black Diamond and you won't have to remember that login address at all. Let's see, the lines are still open. I don't hear any other questions, Ed. Um, and that's all the questions that we have via the webcast. 
Okay. Well, uh, again, just uh, send Sarah Beth a, an email or a telephone call, and we'll get you set up with your user ID, and then you can uh, begin to use the system. I hope you like it as much as I enjoy it. Uh, I, I think it's a really, really good system, and uh, we're very excited about providing that to the clients. So with that, Jeff, I'll let you wrap it up, and then I'll tell everybody, have a nice day. Okay. Thanks, everybody, for being on the call again. You've been on the call with Ed Newton, CFP, president of Newton Financial Network, talking about the Black Diamond uh, investment platform. And, again, if you have any questions, feel free to give Ed a call at the office and uh, ask for Sarah Beth. Thanks, everybody, and we'll talk to you soon. Thank you. Bye.